Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the head coach's press conference for the 2015 Georgia Southern Blue White Spring Game. This is going to be a historic event. But two, two famous, some would say maybe infamous, head coaches. To my right, representing the True Blue, is the president of Georgia Southern, Dr. Brooks Keel, who is undefeated in his first year as a head coach president in the Sun Belt. To my left, representing the Great White, the White team, will be a mascot from 1989, who is the first mascot in Georgia Southern history, well actually in college football history, to go undefeated at 15-0, and and that would be Coach Leonard Bevel. Before we entertain questions from the press corps who is here today, I would ask each coach to maybe open up with some opening remarks. Dr. Keel, since you pay the bills and sign the checks, we're going to let you go first. Well, I'm just really honored to be able to be here and, and, and to represent the blue team. It's it's a tremendous opportunity for us to be out on that field in front of our fans. And, we, yeah, and you all know we got the best fans in the world. Our fans travel well, they show up well, they fight well, just like the players do. And we're really excited to be able to, to go out and show our fans what this next year is going to look like. Uh, this is going to be a, a full contact scrimmage. You're going to see a lot of hard hitting. You're going to see a lot of plays. Oh, we're going to keep, keep a couple players uh, uh, protected. We want to make sure we come out at the end of this thing very healthy and ready to go for the next year. I want to commend uh, my colleague, um, Leonard Bevel. He's a great mascot. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. He's a great coach. Uh, he's he's been, done an outstanding job. At cheer, I, I mean, coaching uh, and I'm sure he'll be able to to rally those cheer, cheer I mean players side uh, and, and help them go out and, and and give us a good show too but uh, so we'll look, we'll look forward to some head-to-head -head, uh, good competition thank you coach dr. Brooks Keel those opening remarks and a few shots over the bow to the great white to Leonard Bevel coach Bevel uh, Coach Bevel, opening remarks. Uh, as I mentioned, former mascot from Georgia Southern, 1989, the first mascot to go 15 and 0. Uh, Leonard, uh, like like uh, President Keel, uh, Coach Keel, uh, Academic Keel, um, we're very very blessed to be here uh, today, and most importantly, to represent Georgia Southern. Uh, kicking off the 2015 season, but most importantly being able to get the guys ready for that opening game against West Virginia. Uh, you know, like, you know, it's important to be in the classroom, and I know we've got great academics here at Georgia Southern, but, you know, it, football's a little different, and so being able to, to go against President Keel and coach his team, you know, the great white's going to come out with a big attack, and uh, most importantly, being able to get the boys ready to uh, prepare ourselves for West Virginia, but most importantly, for getting our first bowl, bowl, bowl game uh, this year and uh, most importantly winning the Sun Belt again. Blood in the water for Coach Leonard Bevels out there. Now at this time we'll open it up for questions. I will ask that you identify yourself, address the question to the person you're asking, be clear and concise. Uh, who would like to go first? Okay, right over here to my left. Let's go here first. Make sure we got him mic'd up. State your name and who you represent. Mason Wood representing the Eagle Creek Crier. Coach Keel, can you give us your best Coach Fritz impersonation after a game in the locker room? Uh, there's no way I'm going to try to impress, uh, impersonate uh, or, or impress upon uh, Coach Fritz after the game. I've never seen anybody with a voice as low as he has scream that loud. Uh, when I first walked in and saw him uh, jump into the arms of his players, uh, that either he's either got to be the world's bravest man or one stupid SOB. I don't know which is, which is the case, <laughs> but there's no way I'm going to try to impersonate him. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, next, who next? Back here over here. Does somebody have a question over here? Okay, right here at the front row, please. Uh, Malcolm Peak, Daily Bugle. Coach Bevel, is there added pressure on Gus knowing that you'll be walking the sidelines? <laughs> You know, walking the sidelines and doing the infancy of the program back in 1986 when we, when we came here and started the program with Coach Russell in 82, you know, being able to run the sidelines like we did back in 1989, it's used to winning and it's about being able to put the grass underneath your feet, but most importantly, uh, being able to, to get the ball to the end zone. And, and the great white plans on getting that ball to the end zone many, many times and stopping the blue from ever reaching the end zone during that time period. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, I have one over to the left. If you could help us out over there. Marcus King from the King Chronicles. Are you going to cancel class Thursday when it's a home football game? 
Well, I, I appreciate that very much, and as I'm sure you well know, I got a lot of questions about that. But the last couple of ESPN games we had, what a fantastic opportunity, not only for our football program, but for Georgia Southern itself to be on national TV like that is just so tremendous. And that's exactly why we wanted to make the move to the FBS, is to put us on that national stage. I have given a lot of thought to this, and I do plan to cancel class on Thursday. But because the football games are typically on Saturday, and that day is going to be open, we're going to have class on Saturday and Sunday to make up for it. <laughs> I'm not sure that's what the student population wanted to hear, Dr. Keel. You didn't ask me what the students wanted. You just asked if I was going to cancel class. Anybody else? Any other questions? Okay. Oh, it's a good young lady in the back. Second row, please. Hi. Allison Holliday from the Daily Planet. Um, Coach Bevel, can you explain how being Gus will give you an advantage over the other team? Well, you know, just being able to, to be around the, the ball players during the 89 championship season and, and prior to that, you know, seeing what it takes to win, uh, but most importantly, having that experience and being here at the university, heck of a lot longer than President Kill has, but we're very excited to have him here, uh, very excited what he's done for the university, carrying us uh, not only from an academic perspective, but also moving into the FBS, but, uh, but most importantly, you know, uh, being a prior mascot, you know, you gain a lot of insight. You learn how to speak, as Coach Fritz has done, and, and President Kill alluded to earlier, speak softly and carry a big stick, and uh, we look forward to doing that here uh, next Saturday. Thank you. Dr. Keel, you've been the president for five years? Five years, that's right. So were you on the five-year plan, Mr. Bevel, as a student here? Is that what you're saying? Uh, no, sir. I, I was on I was on the four-year plan and came back and, and, and had the opportunity to, to get my master's at that point. But, you know, we did it all well, and but, but most importantly, uh, we trained the university how to party well on Thursday nights. I do want to remind the coach that I have access to his transcript, and <laughs> we will be verifying that statement. <laughs> Again, there are some things in the press that are protected uh, exactly. under student uh, confidentiality, so we'll have to find out. Uh, anybody over here? Uh, I'm sorry, right here in the front. I apologize. Right here. I'll get to you next, and then I believe Coach Fritz has a question as well. Coach Keel, Andrew Spears in the Petrie uh, Post. Do you have a game day ritual? No, I don't have a game day ritual and getting out of bed. I mean, that seems like to be the first opportunity um, in a ritual. One of the things we like to do, we'd love to come out early and walk out in the tailgate area. As I said at the outset, we got some of the best fans in the world, and, and that really is for us, for both the First Lady and myself, to get out a, chan a chance to get out, walk among the fans, tell them how much we appreciate them being there, and, and just to be able to participate and feel that excitement. There's no place else like, like this place on a football day. I don't care if it's spring game or if it's you know, opening game of the season. The, the, the electricity, the passion, the love that uh, our folks have for this team is, 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 is you can't find it anywhere else in the world. And so that, that's how, how we like to start off the game day. Thank you, Dr. Keel mentioned tailgating. I do want to remind our press and the fans that are viewing on Eagle Vision here that the second annual tailgate uh, cook-off event will be taking place that Saturday as well. So get here early and you may see both coaches in the tailgating area and you'll get to eat some mighty good food at the same time. Second row. Ethan Flynn from the Daily Eagle. Coach Bevel, what coach's tire will mostly closely remember, uh, resemble yours on uh, the spring game? Bill Belichick or Al Golden? Wow, I have to say Bill Belichick, you know. Um, you know, we're going to do whatever it takes to win. Uh, I think Coach Belichick has done that. But, uh, you know, we're going to we know we, we're gonna make sure all the balls are inflated and make sure everything's proper. But, uh, but it's most importantly being able to, uh, you know, it's about championships. And, and Georgia Southern is what known for championships. Uh, but most importantly, uh, the Patriots, so Coach Belichick, he's known for championships. But, you know, in, moving into the 2015 season, it's going to be great uh, to see what Coach Fritz and the rest of the guys uh, get to do. And, and Coach Keel and I get a chance to be a part of that uh, early on. And, uh, but most importantly, continue to win championships here at Georgia Southern. Thank you. Thank you. And then front row, Dr. Doctor, <laughs> Coach Willie Fritz. This is Billy Baxter from WXYZ. And uh, – this Fritz fellow uh, seems like to run the ball quite a bit, and you know I'm I'm a big fan of the passing attack. Are you all going to open it up and throw the ball 40, 50, 60 times this week, which is what this fan would like to see? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll start with Albert. We're going to pass the ball a lot. We may only pass it one or two feet, but we're going to pass a pretty good bit. Uh, and I promise you, whoever catches that ball is going to run like hell. <laughs> Okay. Coach Bevel, your attack? Well, you know, we're, we're going to have a good balance attack, but it's about getting in the end zone. We're going to do whatever it takes to get in the end zone, whether it's throwing the ball down the field uh, or behind us. But most importantly, you know, with the hogs up front, they're going to do a good job blocking no matter what we're doing. Uh, you know, it's just an opportunity, again, uh, to, to move Georgia Southern to a new level. And, 
and being able to identify every opportunity we can to win the, win the ball game. I have a question to, from the podium to both of you. Do you, you both have your own careers? Do you feel that your success in this game, if you were called upon to step in as a head coach, do you, are you prepared to do that? Coach Keel. I think I'm as prepared to do it as anybody. I mean, you need to keep in mind that um, I'm the only sitting president who can honestly say he suffered a football injury while being president. I don't think there's anybody in America that's taken one for the team like I have. I don't plan to take another one like that for the team, I, but I sure, I sure took one uh, at that point, and I'm ready to step up whenever we need it. Dr. Keel was on the sidelines up in the mountains against that other team up that way and decided to take out one of their players and suffered a little injury, injury in the process. Uh, Mr. Bevel, uh, are you prepared to take on a head coaching position after this if you find success on the sideline for the White? Oh, absolutely. You know, it's a, a good, again, a great opportunity for us to come here together. But, uh, you know, like Coach Fritz has said before, you know, we're blessed with tremendous assistance. Uh, and, and being able to have the assistance we've got, uh, you know, the head coach, you know, he has to take all the grief. But uh, most importantly, the, the assistants make everything happen on a day-by-day -day basis. So. Uh, am I ready? Absolutely, because I know we've got great assistance, and, it, and it's about Coach, you know, getting Coach Kill to be prepared. You know, you got to be strong and pay attention to the game instead of not getting hurt on the football field. A lot of, a lot of political correctness and coach speak up here today. I have one more question for both of you. Uh, first, I'm going to start with you, Coach Bevel. Being a mascot that you were at Georgia Southern, I have it's a two, two questions. One, are you prepared to wear the Gus outfit again on the sideline? Do you feel that's necessary to bring you that good luck? Are you willing to do that? Two, you're putting your undefeated record on the line. It's a lot at stake here. You know what? I'm really not worried about it. From the answer to your question, number one, I, we're prepared to do whatever it takes. If I've got to put on the Eagle mascot or, or most importantly, put on the One More Time t-shirt, we're going to do that to uh, make sure we, we get this victory. You're not going to rip it off, though, are you? You know, they're, they're, we're, we're going to leave everything open to make sure this team is ready and motivated to get done what we've got to get done. But, uh, but most importantly, from the aspect of, of putting undefeated season on the line. I'm not worried about it at all because I know the White's ready to go and uh, it's all about a victory and I prepare to have one. Thank you Coach Bevel. Coach Dr. Keel, uh, questions for you. One, you also have an undefeated record on the line that you're putting at risk here. Undefeated in the Sunbelt first year as president here at Georgia Southern. Second question is, have you been seeking counsel from the president's cabinet, from the, uh, from the academic side? Because there's some football coaches on that side too. Have they given you any feedback? Any, you walking away with anything good from them? I don't think they know I'm doing this, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I'm not sure I want them to know I'm doing this. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not going to seek any advice uh, from my cabinet. Uh, I don't need any advice from my cabin. I've, I've had an opportunity to, to watch this program for five years uh, on the sidelines. I know what it takes to win games, um, and, and I will be prepared to do just that. If there are no more questions from our press, at this time I'm going to give each coach one more opportunity to close us out with remarks. This time, I'll offer it to the mascot to Gus, Coach Leonard Bevel. Well, again, it's, it's great to have everybody here today, but most importantly, it's great to be a part of the greatest university in the country, uh, Georgia Southern, but most importantly, uh, as we go forward, it, it, it is it's about a victory. And, and, you know, we've had a good time here today um, and, and making sure that everybody understands what we're about. But, you know, going forward on, on the 18th uh, of April, uh, I plan on making sure President Kill understands there's a reason why he's on Sweetheart Circle and not on the football field. And, and we plan on making sure that uh, we get everything done that we need to get done to get this victory uh, on the 18th for the White. Go Big White. Mighty strong statement there to close us out. Dr. Coach Keel, your thoughts? Well, I, I appreciate Coach Gus, I mean, Coach Bevel's comments. And by the way, have you seen that, uh, that Gus uniform he had on uh, originally? I don't know if he's a mascot for Georgia Southern or cried a poultry. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I'm sure not gonna put that, that uniform on, that's for sure. Uh, blue team's going to be ready to win, there's no doubt about that. I think you're going to see our guys, a, a lot of excitement, a lot of en enthusiasm, a lot of anticipation. Uh, it's going to be uh, in your face, hard-nosed football. That's what Georgia Southern is all about. Georgia Southern's always been about blue-collar football. I can't be more proud to be on the blue team. And we're going to come out, we're going to teach uh, uh, mascots where the whether, whether place ought to be, and I'm looking forward to doing just that. Kickoff set for Saturday, April 18th. Remember, that morning is the second annual tailgate cookoff. Uh, kickoff set at noon on Saturday, 1 o'clock. I've 
see, I'm still tailgating already. Tailgating will lead right up into that point. Kickoff set at 1 o'clock. See these two coaches go at it. That night is the EFA reverse raffle starting about 5.30 at the Bishop Fieldhouse. It's going to be an exciting day, an historic day for the 2015 Georgia Southern football blue-white fight, fight, fight spring game. Thank you all for being here today. Special thanks to the press for always giving us that great coverage. Go Eagles just one more time.